are the treatments? Otitis externa in a person in good health usually responds to simple treatment measures. If no great swelling is present in the canal, it is often sufficient to help return conditions in the canal toward their normal state. Suction or irrigation of the canal will remove drainage and exudates. The canal can be made more acidic with 2% acetic acid or boric acid irrigation. The canal can be dried by use of hydroscopic irrigation such as burrow solution or a dilute solution of alcohol. Drying and acidifying the canal will cure many infections without the use of antibiotics. Where there is significant swelling of the canal, a low potency corticosteroid solution will often resolve the swelling either alone or on an absorbent wick left in the canal till the swelling resolves. When these simple measures do not suffice, many physicians will recommend a corticosteroid antibiotic combination either alone or on a wick. Otitis externa in a diabetic or immunosuppressed person can progress rapidly to a life-threatening state. Hospitalization and intravenous antibiotics are usually required and surgical treatment is sometimes necessary. <music> Tips for preventing otitis externa. A person in good health can prevent otitis externa by doing nothing to disturb the ear canal's normal defenses. Avoid getting water in the ears. If you do get water in your ears, use one of the acidifying or drying solutions suggested above. If you swim frequently, use fitted earplugs. Do not clean your ears with cotton tip swabs or other objects. If your ears are plugged up, have your doctor clean them. Once the ears are clean, many doctors recommend several drops of vegetable oil in each ear once or twice a week to keep the cerumen from plugging up the ears again.